We got the swag in the back of the tray right here. Bit of a ghetto setup. We want to get our first light tomorrow morning, get stuck into some pretty epic fish. We <laughs> just hop out <laughs> with an inch drive. <laughs> This is what we came out for. Oh. Right in and I bit and then I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, a bit of a different video today guys. I'm gonna start this one right here at the back of my car. It's about 5.30 p.m. The sun's getting ready to set, but first, this literally just rocked up about 30 seconds ago. I think it's some stubby coolers for the new drop, so I'm gonna check it out. Holy crap. Here's a quick peek. They are amazing. <sighs> right. Fishberg anchor. Some water in there. Got the dive gear and stuff in there. Life jackets. Spear guns, gaff. Rods. Sunscreen. We are officially set. <sighs> Let's send it. Yo. Yeah, guys, I'm just um, on my way now. Okay, sweet man, I'm packed. I'm gonna head it too. <sighs> Cameras, bucket hat always. Got a bunch of stuff in the back here, just like towels, pillow. You. So I'm heading about an hour, hour 10 up north to a boat ramp. That's where I'm gonna meet up with Wade and then we're gonna camp there the night. So that's the plan. We wanna get out first light tomorrow morning, get stuck into some pretty epic fish. Just catching the last of that sun setting over the horizon there. We'll be on. You. Alrighty. It's home for the next night. I'm the first one here, still waiting on, on bloody Wade. Where is he? Empty car park, but I'll just kick back here, wait for Wade to rock up, and, and then we'll sort out the plan for tonight, see if we can get some bait or something. I bought some KFC on the way up, so just hooking into that now while we wait for a old mate. Here he comes. I only took him about 30 minutes. He's finally bloody arrived. Hey. You're bloody late. Right, someone <laughs> had to bloody pick up ice from me. <laughs> Dude, I, oh, nearly your brother. Forgot, I nearly forgot to put my car in park. I nearly just hopped out with an intro. Maybe that runs over your foot. <laughs> Great way to start. Right, that would have been a perfect intro. So we're gonna go for a walk down the creek now, leave the car and boat here, and I'm gonna go for a cast net, see if I can get some bait for tomorrow, but. If not, we'll just see what else is out. Wade's got his fishing rod, so we'll have a little look around. Oh. Alrighty. You ready? Yep. That way. Okay, so it's looking pretty weedy around here. Um, <laughs> oh, bro, there's a crab right here. Just some little guy. Hey, mate. I thought this was supposed to be... I mean, it opens up further in. Do you think the bait would be in or on this? Be both. Well, let's go up a bit and have a look. There may be nothing, but... <sighs> Way too shallow. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. Hey, see that, mate? I saw something jump. Yeah, see, boys, this is what we do. We oh, you got a crab. You got a bloody crab. Oh. <laughs> oh, we just lost them all, bro. They were all here. We got some, though. Oh, <laughs> it 
just lost him. No, no, the biggest one just fell out. Nah. Do, oh, are you got, do you want to fish with that? Pardon? Do you want to fish with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Wade's running back to get the bucket because we've caught these two little things that we'll fish with tonight. But I still want bigger bait for trolling, so I'm going to keep casting up here, see what I can get. Alrighty, guys. So what Nick's going to show you right now is how exactly not to cast the cast net. So whatever he does... Rich words do coming opposite. from you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm editing this video. You don't want to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bait's Wade actually... Wade wants bait, so... The bait's actually out here. I'm in. Not bad. There you go. There you go. Not bad. Oh, yes. And he got some bait. Yes, we got bait. Yes, sir. Dude, this is, this is good. <laughs> okay, another whiting in there. So that's just going to be for tonight's fishing adventures, but we'll cast some more bait, see how we go. Birds laughing at you? Because they know what you're about to do. Good throw, man. Cool. Delivering One good. fish per cast. It's only, we're only going to be well, here you for... you got about zero. <laughs> I got three. So just like that, and uh, we're just going to send him out. Really All right. Surely something's taken out. No luck with the rod, so we're back here now, and I've actually set up the bedding for tonight. We got the swag in the back of the tray right here. There's the boat. Bit of a ghetto setup, but um, we're gonna work with that. Wade's in the back of his car there, and there's a really creepy man in his car over there. So hopefully we don't get a uh, touch tonight. And <laughs> we'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. You. 3 a.m. Oh. It was a bit of a rough sleep, but um, at least it was something, so let's get packing. Give her a second to warm up. Yeah, it's fine, man. Get birdie warmed up. It's about, what, 3.30 a.m. Boat's in the water now. It's just a straight charge across to the island. And um, and then we'll get the uh, the rods in the water ASAP, Rocky. That's the plan, so. Transducer not connect. You. <laughs> We're running off <laughs> Navionics today, baby. No transducer, so that's all right. Alrighty, we'll see us when we're out there. That sun's coming up behind me. We're on the bottom of the reef here, so we're gonna get the lures in and we're gonna start trolling up this way. See if we can catch ourselves a bloody Spanish mackerel, the dream, wahoo, tuna, whatever's out here. I'm keen, but the mackerel is the goal, so. What do you reckon, mate? Mate, if we're, if we're not catching a fish today, we're not going home, so <laughs> we, might be, we might be sleeping out here. We've been but, uh, blessed with these conditions. We're out here now, so I'm gonna quit wasting time. I just want to get these lures in and start trolling. Alrighty, we're putting the, the rods out now. We got a 
We got two lures on. One's gonna be sitting around six meters. The other's gonna be sitting up about two meters in the water column. Yeah. And um, that should cover, you know, a nice range of the water there to see um, to see what can take it. So I'm just gonna start cruising forward and get the boat in the right direction. These lines out. So which one's that? It's a two meter driver. We're sitting it way out the back. Just gonna, it's got less drag on it. And uh, it's on the, a little bit of a lighter rod. We are pretty much on the bottom of the spot here now. There's some nice reef. I've got Navionics up, I'm just cruising along. I don't have a sounder, so fortunately I can't see if there's bait or what's working under us, but we're just gonna trust that we're on the right spot and do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> trust the room. Look at that bloody sunrise. Now there have been Wahoo caught here the last couple of weeks, so that's definitely on the cards, but um, the mackerel is the goal. Said it once and I'll say it again, Spanish mackerel on the deck of the boat and um, happy days. Very happy day. We're on, dude. Okay, We're on, I got it, I got it. I'm just gonna leave the boat with you now. Okay, just keep that tension, eh? We are on. We are freaking on. Yes! We weathered the storm and Nick's on right now. But once we run it, Ken, I'm gonna leave the boat in gear. Right now. Dude, we are on. Okay. Nice. We are on. Are you on here, guys? Yeah! Oh, what are you we're on. How's it feeling, mate? Swimming this way. Swimming? Oh, it's a good mackey, maybe, come towards us and then they'll have a big scream and yeah, run. He's gonna run here, but he's swimming right past the boat. Yep, here he goes. Yeah. A few head shakes. Yeah? Quite a few head shakes. Even when he was running, which makes me think it's a mackey, so. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Spanish, I think. It would be. Or. Yeah, there he goes. Is it? Yeah, it's Are you kidding me? It's in Spanish, bro. It's in Spanish. Dude, I think I may have the fish yeah, that I've been chasing. Just, just take your time, you bro. Come around this way, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a good Spanish. It's Spanish. Good Spanish. Okay, now I'm back. Just let him wait. Oh. Yeah, he's gone. So good. We got him. To go, bro, so go. Oh. It's alright, it's alright. No, it's alright, we'll just tire him. I'm good. Watch the line. You got him, mate. Get him in, get him in. Yeah! <laughs> he's got the spanish! He's in mate! He's got the spanish! He's in! He's done it! He's done it! Dude, good spanish! We got a spanish! He's done it! Brother! Nice work brother! Look at that man! Bro, big spanish too! We have the fish Bro. that I've been chasing in the boat. It's happened. <laughs> a nice spanish mackerel. Oh dude, that's a good one. Watch your toes man, watch your toes. Oh, shit, bro. That's, that's a good oh, fish. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> Ooh, look at it's a good bro. fish. It's flared oh. up. <laughs> We've actually done it, mate. Look at Holy that. Holy shit. All right, we better um sort this guy out, buddy. Man. <sighs> Watch the gaff. The, the, the screaming runs, eh? Nuts, bro. Nuts. What were your nerves like during that fight? Dude, I wasn't, I wasn't scared he was going to come off for some reason. I just felt like he was hooked good. But... 
I don't know, man. You never know till it's till it's on the deck of the boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it, bro. <laughs> bro, good Spanish too, like proper one. Well, here he is. This is what we came out for. Spanish mackerel. A lot of you guys who watch the channel would know that I've been chasing this fish for quite a while now. I didn't know whether I'd get him on um, on spear or rod first, but I've been into the trolling recently, so we've managed to pick him up this morning. It was worth that bloody early morning send, the, ca the camp overnight in the car park, all the effort that's gone into it, and it's paid off. This is all I want, man, just to get a big mackerel like this this morning in the esky to take home and cook up. There's not much more to it. I'm, I'm pretty bloody stoked and I just want to get the rods out in the water again. See if we can get a couple more, but um, look at him. He's just, look look at the mouth on him. Thing, I just think they're one of the coolest looking fish. That's why I like them so much. So I don't know, I reckon, what do you, you think this guy would be around 10? Yeah, I'd say like- Eight, you 10 know, kilos? Yeah, I'd say like, yeah, close, close to 10 kilo. Yeah, beautiful fish. We'll bleed him to make sure the eating's right and, um, and get back out there, man. <laughs> Look at that. All right, just bled him out. We'll whack him in the fish bag now and get the rods back out. Hopefully get a couple more, hey man. Mackerel's in the fish bag. I don't even know what to say. I'm, a, I'm pretty speechless. I'm so, so happy with that fish. I've wanted that for a long time. My froth levels is just as high as Nick's to watch him get that Spanish. Right. Enjoy this moment. Like Bro, when, <laughs> when the rods start going, it starts getting stressful. You just say random shit. But hopefully that footage was cool. And yeah, I can't believe it. First, first Mackie in the bloody bag. Big bus stops just here. Birds working. We're trolling over it now. Look at them. Oh, they're on it. Look at him go. There's so many over there. <laughs> oh, look at the fish, dude. Over here. I don't know what fish they are. Right, right in front of me. We're on. We're on. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got a long time. <laughs> Dang it. He's gone nuts. Did you see the surface strike he did? Maybe. Looks like it. Oh, I hooked him. Oh, no. Dude, you're stuck Okay, well, we've called it quits, pulled the rods in. We don't need to go too crazy because we got a nice Mackie in the, in the bag. So we'll just suss out what it's looking like up here. It's really hot, so I kind of want to get in the water and have a swim at least. We so, got it. We came out to get a mackerel. Doesn't always work that way, but it, it did today. So it was tough conditions too. It was. We didn't really have glass out, but. No, nah, but look at it now. It's just, like, it looks bloody unreal. Well, we've been trolling since sun up. It's about nine o'clock now, so. Yeah, we're going to change it up, hopefully get in the water and see if we can get anything else in the, uh, in the bag. Crack a day. <laughs> Pretty much glassy now, we're inside the, the bay here, so might just suss out what to do next. We'll see. Still don't think I believe it's true, so I'm gonna open this bag and see if there is a Spanish mackerel actually sitting in it, mate. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> mate, it looks even more beautiful in the sun. Look at it. I'm so keen to fill it up and, and think of some kind of recipe to do, probably the Savo. Probably eight to 10 kilo. That's just perfect eating size. Obviously there's some bigger ones out there, but I'm pretty happy with this for my first trolling and um, Definitely we'll be going out to get more of these guys, so let us know what you think if you enjoy this and, and I'll do some more trolling perhaps in the future too. So <laughs> better get it back in the ice, chuck it in the fish bag. And if he fits, he's just fitting in there. Oh. 
break this ice up on him. Get the other bags out. Got a nice ice slurry in there, so that should last us till we get home. Zip that up, it's in the shade under the T top. So, what we're gonna do now is part wade, part ways, part wade. <laughs> Big day, but what we're gonna do now is part ways. Wade's going back to his place. I'm gonna go back to mine, fill it up this fish, and then prepare a recipe. I'll clean the boat and do all that kind of stuff. So, I'll bring you guys along with what I do post mission so you can get a bit of an insight. The day doesn't end here, so. Yeah, we'll keep going and um, we'll say fair will to bloody Wade. Mate, nah, bring it in, bring it in. See this, guys? This is what you call some Spanish mackerel love Back right here. here. Yeah, the boys have done it. I'll be out again, I'll be out again. Bloody oath you will be, mate. Bigger and better things coming, eh? Absolutely. And we Next might time even... we're getting you the 20 kilo one. That's the thing. I'm still yet to catch a big one. I'd love to do that, so Well, yeah. dude, for your first Spanish, that's like oh, a pretty that's, good yeah, size. It's a really good one, so. He's in there nice and chilled, and I better get him home then. Good morning. Bloody oath. All right. Sweet. I'll see you around. See you, bro. Have a good one. Safe travels, mate. Sweet, bro. Have a good one. All righty. Time to go home, guys. Get this boat washed and get that fish filleted. All righty, guys. We're back home now, so... First things first, we got to prepare this fish while it's cold, before that ice melts. I'm going to get the fish out, fillet that up, and then we'll worry about cleaning the boat after that. Jesus, oh. Oh. Look at that fish. That's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Still super cold, so the meat's pretty firm. That makes it really easy to fill it. So we'll get stuck into it, and I'll slap the uh, slabs off this guy and get him in the fridge. Righty, so the f apologies, I've set the bloody dogs off, so bear with me, but I've pretty much filleted the fish here, and what I like to do while I'm filleting, especially now while I'm friggin' starving, is run your knife along the bone here, and any bits that you've missed, cut off to be really, really good sashimi. So I've grabbed myself a bowl of soy sauce here. Just dip it straight in. That's as fresh as it gets. Oh. Man, that's good. Oh crap. Covered in soy sauce. That is phenomenal. Oh. Mm. The best part is, the worse you are at filleting, the more sashimi you get. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a whole damn meal here. Okay, so now the fish is filleted, obviously. We've got to clean the vessel. Keep it uh, nice and salt free, don't want any corrosion. So what I actually use is the Salty Captain Boat Wash. I actually have a discount code for this if you guys want. Fry 15 gets you 15% off, store wide, whatever you want. But I do really believe in these. So what we do is just under the little canister. It's like a salt neutralizing detergent. And what we'll do is, I pretty much just yeet a bloody half a thing in there, just like that. Then we just whack canister on, and just like that, it's gonna start shooting out sudsy water, see that? And that's gonna neutralize all the salt on the boat. So I'm gonna go around and do a thorough wash of this now. Look at all that soap. You just know it's doing a good job right now. It's gonna completely cake this boat in the suds and then we'll rinse it off let that sit for about five minutes and then what you do is you turn this one notch forward and that's going to be washed and it gets all that soap back off pop that nozzle off attach it to your engine flush here and initiate that on 
All right, we'll turn her on. Let's jump up here. Now make sure your water's coming out of here. She's getting old, mate. She's getting old. There we go, proper stream. That's Sudsy. She's looking bloody clean. So what I'm gonna do now is take some well needed rest, chill out time, just do whatever for an hour or so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll meet you guys back and we'll do the cook up of the mackerel and I'll show you guys what kind of recipe. I'm thinking I'm gonna do wraps. I got a really cool recipe for you guys. So we'll run that, but um, I'm just gonna go chill out for a bit and I'll see you guys back a bit later this avo. We let this thing dry out on the driveway here. Alrighty, so I'm up the road at Chris and Nat's place. I won't lie to you, I crashed for a little bit. I'm pretty tired, but I'll show you the setup we're running right here. So what we're making is some mackerel wraps. We've got the mackerel cut up here, obviously. Got some mushrooms, onion, pineapple, capsicum, and we're gonna put them on these skewers. And then what we'll do is we're heating up some hot coals here to whack in this bad boy and roast them over that in this uh, little fish grill thing here. So I'll take you through the uh, the process of that and how we do it, and then we put them on the wraps and it's it's pretty nice. So we're just having a cruisy night up here, cracking a drink and taking it easy. So we'll start making up some of these and get them on the, on the coals. Mm -hmm. Go on capsicum, pineapple, mackerel. Then I'm gonna go mushy. I'm nailing this so far, please don't split. Oh, small split, but it's on. And then what I'm gonna go is a bit of onion. Two bits of onion for, for good luck. That split a little bit. Then we'll go back to, back to the capsicum. Just like that. Put another round of that, I reckon. So, guys, it doesn't really matter what order you do this in, just as long as you use all these ingredients, I think. The mushies are hard to get on because these skewers are thick. There we go. Bit of onion, just like that, and we'll finish it off with another bit of fish. There we go, look at that. Looks like candy. We got Brooke in the kitchen, so she's gonna make us up the next one. I'm actually so excited. That look you how nice the meat magic. looks. So we have some nice heat over here right now. Let that burn down a little bit while we make these and um, try and get a fair few of them. And then pretty much what we do is those just go in the wrap. Just like that, we've got a couple more ingredients, but um, Brooke's finishing up here. I haven't had one of these before, so I'm really excited. I've had two of these wraps, I think. It's Chris's recipe, but it's bloody phenomenal. So you, should go, you guys should try it if you can get the chance. Oh, there yeah. you go, all done? <laughs> Sweet. All right, next up. Alrighty, so we'll fit about three of these skewers in this at a time. Close it up. All right, what you want to do is just spray a little bit of oil either side. And then we've got some um, some rub seasoning here. You can pretty much put on whatever you want, but um, whoa, oh, nearly lost oh. it. <laughs> Jeez. Put a bit of spice on. It's quite hot here though, so we've got to watch this and turn it a bit, but um, it'll cook just like that, just like your normal kind of campfire, but um, we're doing it in the kitchen here, so it's pretty contained. Oh, I can't wait to eat this mackerel. Brooke's still making a little yeah. skewers over here. Oh. Slow and steady. <laughs> oh, oh, so yeah. Yeah. Me too. I'm from last <laughs> yeah, First batch looks like it's done, so yeah. pull these out, pop them down, oh, just yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and then we literally put those on the wraps, a couple more ingredients, and that's done. It's as easy as that. So let's make the wraps up now, and I'll sh and I'll show you what it looks like. Righty, so I'm gonna make myself a wrap. Bit of the uh, corn chutney. 
on top there. Corn relish, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. Whack a bit of avo on because I actually love avo on wraps. And then we're going to add some mackerel. Make sure we get pineapple, capsicum, mushroom, onion, all of it on there. And then you guys know the drill. Bit of cupy. Smother that there. Let's taste this wrap. Amazing. Please try this if you get mackerel, guys. This is incredible. <laughs> Yum. Look at that. If you enjoy this longer form content, let me know below. Appreciate the support, guys. If you want to shop Chorhawk, links down below. We'll see you in the next adventure. I'm going to finish this wrap and go to bed real early tonight. Thanks for watching. That's a wrap. That's a <laughs> You put it right in and I bit and then I'm like... <laughs>